Hi everybody, welcome to Gear Gossip. It's been a while, I'm absolutely sorry for this. Keep in mind, I've just built a house. Um, it's just this room, the rest is not finished yet, including the roof and the carport. Tonight, it's another bass lip guitar for you. And there's a special reason for this, because the video that is clicked the most at the moment is... Ta -ta -ta, it's the nylon string guitar by Baselab. And while quite a lot of people agreed, well actually nobody disagreed, that it sounds absolutely beautiful, yeah, terrific, awesome, breathtaking. The results on looks were uh, less ideal. Well, somebody said it looks like testicles and others were less friendly. So um, Heiko decided to send me a different prototype with a slightly more conservative, boring, seen before shape. Um, and that's it. Seen before, yeah. I do not want to mention the original manufacturer for copyright reasons. Nice blue sparkle finish on a nylon string acoustic telecaster in the bass lab fashion. Bass lab fashion means composite neck body one piece completely hollow including the headstock. Nylon strings, the more perceptive of you might have noticed these are steel strings. More on this later. First rundown of the basic features. Well uh, the run up maybe because I will start here. Um, as I mentioned Telestyle body completely hollow, strap lock, piezo bridge individually adjustable, including volume. There's six small potties in there for adjusting the volume of each string. Hmm, very welcome. Volume for piezo, tone for piezo, volume for the microphone that is in there, and the bass roll off for the microphone. Hmm? It's not an EQ that lowers the bass, it's a cut off frequency that is zero when it's fully. Uh, counterclockwise and the more you turn it up the more you cut off the bass frequencies it's meant to reduce feedback on stage sound hole in a unusual position flat broad fingerboard as you would expect on a classical guitar nice shaping very comfy very reachy a C shape not a very pronounced D that you would find on a classical guitar playing like this the little little you can actually wrap your fingers around here it's a comfy shape but very broad and completely flat keep in mind we are talking production model from down there to here. And from here we are talking prototype. Mr. Baselab is not really sure if these are the correct tuners for nylon strings. Because nylon strings stretch forever and you will have assume, yeah, quite a lot of windings around a small little electric guitar tuning pack. So mm, not that ideal. Same thing for these string trees here. So from here, prototypey, forget it. No? And now for this uh, steel string modification that I did. When I got this guitar, uh, I ripped off two nylon strings at once. So, uh, bummer. I rang him up and said, can I try bronzy strings? And he said, mm. try. But this one has been built for durability. It's not as light as it could be, and you would expect from a hollow guitar. It is by no means heavy, but it's it could be quite a lot lighter. But on the positive side, I put 13 gauge Alexia bronzy strings on this thing. And it didn't even crack, like, it didn't even blink. It's just, boing, tune up, done. <laughs> Try this with a regular classical guitar, all you will get is splinters. So, um, before I do the nylon section, I will do the steel section. With a little drawback, because this piezo has been built for nylon strings. There is a special piezo for steel strings that is a little bit more mellow that cuts off some of these <laughs> extreme amounts of troubles. So I will dial them out here. Questions? Well first I will show it with a microphone so you will get an idea how the guitar sounds. Microphone, microphone, guitar, no cable, it's just the guitar inside this room. <laughs> What you notice when you play this, you don't have any dead spots. This is because carbon has dead spots by nature, but they're not audible for human ears. And the attack, and the guitar doesn't give in a bit. So the first attack, is when you hit the string,
gets transmitted quite a lot better than on world. So, um, so we always have the impression that you don't have that much sustain, which is wrong because the attack is just that pronounced. <coughs> Ding. Yeah, it's a little bit unusual. Playability is top notch. Oh, my playing is not. The only thing a little bit unusual is that you have a broad, flat neck. So any sloppy thump around the neck, playing la 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 la, wah wah wah, might result in unusual chording because <laughs> the string spacing is quite huge. And please forgive me, I do not bend strings on 13 gauge strings. I hope you hear this. The sound is very deep and round, has some sort of sparkle. Bronze string version of the acoustic sound, and now for the plugged in sound. Now we're plugged in. Everything flat, no compression whatsoever. Um, PAs are fully open, no microphone. I have a Boss 85 preamp here that is also set to bypass. So this is just the piezo sound. hear this might have a little bit too much treble this is because this piezo is made for nylon strings there's a different piezo also as i mentioned so cutting treble a little bit oh, this neck is just so broad Yes, it's broad. Treble back in. And the microphone, full microphone. This is why Mr. Höpfinger is not that fond of this shape. It's a little bit boxy. Let's cut some bass. With the microphone you can get all these body percussion, bass back in. Oof. Now mix the piezo back in. Well, I could get some good results with just the treble side and mix in a mellow turn down piezo compensate for volume the snake is huge okay back to normal no microphone I was assured there's also a non-micro version, so you can get it with a PSO only. 
So let's just be fair. This is just a piezo guitar. There is no preamp in there whatsoever for uh, EQ or something like this. So to compare this to your onboard E preamp equipped acoustic guitar, you have to use a preamp. And I have one. The mighty AD5. I cut some middle and have a body resonance, whatever control, so I just have a preamp. Hmm. Too much bass. quite all right and you can get this sound at any volume because not that much feedback to be expected live on stage oops it's a prototype no I still won't bend any strings on 13 gauge Can't help it. Sounds familiar? Talking about sustain. Enough for me, actually. Okay, I guess this is settled. Decent sounding piezo with 13 gauge uh, bronze strings. Now for the unexpected, ridiculous thing, abusing guitars in a horrible way, um, piezo, steel strings, and maybe you're in a top 40 band and have to play some rock and roll.
Okay, it's not perfect, but it works, actually. <laughs> well, back to serious business. So, a week has come and gone. Uh, I've grown some hair in my face, and this guitar has grown brand new nylon strings. Brand new nylon strings means they sound really good and they stay in tune for about 20 seconds, so we have to hurry up. We have to hurry up anyway because we have 30 degrees centigrade right now in Germany, and humidity is, well, Vietnam. Mm. The nylon version with no microphone, just the piezo. External mic makes no sense at all. Not enough output for this. So, But this is the piezo. <laughs> No preamp, by the way. works. Okay, that's not really typical nylon string. No preamp, no whatsoever. Now for the tone. Control. We have quite a lot of kerrang on the bass strings. Very bright. <laughs> no movement. <laughs> now for the microphone. Um, as I mentioned before, the body is very small and it's very stiff and strong. So um, don't expect wonders. Okay, now you know what the roll-off is for. But it adds some sort of sparkle to the piezo. Now, with the preamp and the piezo, now things get different. Microphone back in. A little bit. And it really.
really supports very high volumes. <laughs> Chorus, more than enough reverb. my own song and I can't remember how to play it. Yeah, another uh, nylon string trademark sound. <laughs> it still doesn't move. Very convincing Telecaster sounds. <laughs> no, nylon string sounds. is over sit back relax what's it all about well it's basically showcasing possibilities yeah you have at least two ways of ordering um, nylon string acoustic guitar for stage work that is humidity resistant temperature resistant feedback resistant roadie resistant ha. a lot of customization colors frets neck shape neck width maybe even scale, mm, I'm not sure about this one, microphone, no microphone, preamp, no preamp, blah, 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 all up to you. Customization ends with the body shapes. Mm, ends? Doesn't it start there? No, actually, uh, as you might have noticed, the there is some, some boxiness to the sound on the tele side that I didn't hear on the wide one, on the elbow. Mm, this is just unavoidable with this shape. Mm, you can make it bigger. It's just a Telecaster shape. Mm. So you have to live with this. So this uh, it's a draw. Big shape, elbow, nasty comments, and it's white. And the other one is a Telecaster that is, yeah, common looks, won't raise eyebrows on the way to the stage. Um, yeah, sounds a little bit different. I would go for the white one with a microphone when it comes to sound. I would go with the Telecaster when it comes to playability, though I'm not really sure about the big broad neck with a Telecaster mm, in front of your belly. <laughs> Maybe not. I could I could easily live without the microphone and the Telecaster. I could not live without the microphone and the elbow and blah, 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 blah. So um, before you order anything like this, that starts at 2,800 euros, you should really really give Mr. Baselab Heiko Höpfinger a call or send him an email and just check all these options that you can have and really discuss the sound that you want and the, the feel that you want and then he can really uh, tell you what he can do for you. Hmm? This is the link to Baselab, this is the link to me and this is the link to the old video that you might also want to check out. See you.